Welcome back everyone, Mean Poo here, and today we're going to play some Jupiter Hell. I've never played this game before, and it's a roguelike game based on an old style that you might have seen uh, maybe 20 or so years ago. But the game looked interesting, and I want to try it out. So let's hit these settings. Oh man, look at these settings, man. It looks like an old school CRT. Look at this. Discord rich presence. All this is enabled. Hide your mouse. By the way, the game doesn't use a mouse. It either uses the directional pad on a controller or the directional keys on the keyboard on your computer. Uh, worn on Intel GPU. This is disabled. Then we have a display. Uh, with some other options which these numbers that you see like uh, shader quality you can increase those but I don't think there's going to be much you can see in this type of game but I'm just going to go down the line here oh look at this CRT effects level CRT geometry level I'm not going to mess with any of these so I'm just going to hit apply and back up and then we're going to back up some more all right so let's go ahead and hit new game regular game all right let's do this easy medium and hard okay this is easy recommended for players with no turn-based roguelike experience I have some I've played some roguelike games and I do have some RTS experience and, and turn-based experience okay default difficulty recommended for players with turn-based roguelike experience all right let's do medium Okay, you have a marine scout and technician so the marines are the backbone of jovisek resilient and hardy okay the resource is fury and that's the main marines class resource and it regenerates with kills okay and the passive is each time you enter a new level you automatically heal 10 percent max health and then you have some other that's active something called active and it says for 30 points of fury you may channel your adrenaline Heal a bit, convert one quarter of your pain modifier to health, and protect yourself from pain for five seconds. And then your gear, Marines start with a small med kit. You know, starting with a med kit is always a good thing. Scouts are masters of stealth and have the best intel. The resource the scout utilizes energy as a class resource. It regenerates when opening new chests and can overflow until you leave a level. Passive scouting ahead has revealed the location of all the regular elevators branch connections and Special levels are still hidden. You only have two weapon slots Which stays active or you have to activate uh, for 25 energy You can activate stealth and go invisible for a few turns or until you attack you gain plus 100% critical chance while stealth and your gear scouts start with a revolver and a 44 ammo okay technicians are masters of equipment and tinkering the resource the text utilized power is a class resource it regenerates by picking power orbs dropped by mechanical and semi-mechanical enemies it can overflow until you leave a level Text use any consumable, including grenades, twice as fast, and that's their passive. Now, the active uh, for a difficulty uh, dependent amount of power, you can activate a smoke screen that will block sight around you. Uh, what stays active, you can dismantle a modded item to randomly get back one of its mods. And your gear, text start with three multi tools. Going with the Marine. Mean Poo is the name, and playing games is my game. <laughs> Sounded corny, didn't it? <laughs> okay, who the hell shot you down? Because as you come back from a routine patrol of Callisto orbit, your landing craft gets shot down by the automated defense systems. Something is wrong. OK, 
Okay, there's a ship down there. Got some smoke coming off of it. Okay, then this is turn base. And from what I've read, I guess when you find an enemy, then it starts to like go into mode of turn base somewhat. I don't know, but we'll see. Oh. Oh, there's an enemy. Okay. Okay, that enemy tried to shoot me. Okay, look. I have 84 health down here. My Fury is 40. Oh, it's a medical box. Former Grunt. 50, I got a 53% chance of hitting this guy. And this... What is that, a 7% chance? So we want to stay... Like with this guy right here. I wish we can get some cover. But I'm going to try to hit this guy right here. Okay, he's down. Ah, I didn't try to do that. Oh, I'm getting ready to die. Oh, I died. Man. So let's try again. Something's gone wrong. Twenty-three percent to hit this guy, but there's an explosion barrel right there. Let's see if we can hit that. Toxic barrels, one hundred percent. Let's shoot. Oh, he's out of there. <sighs> oh, why did I run into that? It's poison. Now, if if I sit here, I wonder. If the poison will like just go away, or does it like go away when I'm? Ah, yeah. So time moves when you move, pretty much. And we have a little mini map right there on the top left. You see that? What's hitting me? Oh, I'm poisoned. Okay, that's that's what's going on. I'm poisoned. Okay, that's better. Let's see what this is. Okay, more stuff. Small med kit heals 40 points. So we're only on 79, so we, I don't think we should use it just yet. But we should pick up some items on the floor. Do we have any weapons or anything? We have a 9mm pistol. We have two 9mm pistols. Okay. I'm just walking slow because I don't know, right? Okay, there's an elevator. Maybe we should check around on the floor. Oh! Alright. 67% chance to hit this guy. Alright, so 63 out of 100 on our health. We can go ahead and go ahead and heal up. another guy down there I have shotgun shells but I don't have a shotgun I don't see anything ninety six percent let's do it one hundred percent let's do it all right I think he has a different weapon what is that a drone Okay, so I just reloaded, and because I reloaded, time moved forward. And that's why that drone moves. Or that enemy. Come on. Okay, we got a 12 gauge shell. Pistol, pistol, pistol. I need another weapon. I took it out with he These drones just keep coming. Okay, so I'm looking on the floor because I'm standing on top of a weapon. It's the same weapon that I have, so I'm just gonna not get that. <sighs> All right, 12 gauge shotgun. 
let's swap it. Groovy. And the combat knife. I'm going to pick it Let up. The massacre no, I'm going begin. to go in here. And I want to drop one of these 9mm pistols. And let's pick up a knife because we don't know if. Okay, this is a little better. Can we search this down enemy? Nope. So let's go back around, because I don't feel like fighting no more enemies on this floor. <laughs> Alright, we're going to the next floor. Oh, and check that out. It's a mini-map. Holding the left trigger shows the uh, mini-map. And look at the enemy down there. Every time I move, he moves. Cool. Alright, we're going up. Shit. Gotta hurry. Security should be here soon. What? Locked down in 180 seconds. Really put me on a timer like this? You know I'm new. Hundred and fifty eight seconds. Okay, now can I hit this guy? I mean, I don't know if the door's open or not. Blew him away. Blew him away. Okay, I think that's a dead end. Oh, there's an enemy behind me. Reload, damn it. Out of ammo, reload. level two <laughs> okay man this got some like some RPG elements you gotta like this oh passive skill improved your class traits you're great at what you are each level of this skill improves your class traits for each level of this skill you heal an extra 5% every level and gain 50% more health from adrenaline increase hit points by 20% Starting HP per trait level. And then Furious. Increased Fury capacity. You got Hellrunner. Dodge 10%. Max Dodge 10%. And Move Cost minus 10% per trait level. Man, this thing is like, woo! Empty Weapon Reload Time halved. Sustained Fire. Consecutive Series Gain Damage Bonus. Toughest Nails. One point of armor per level. Rip and Tear. Melee only. So that will apply to my gun. And I get extra ammo. Mm, if I pick that. Or I can store the point. But I think I'm going to do... Uh, should I do passive skill? Okay. Let's go. Got some armor. Oh, we're not going to make it. Oh, 
Oh, I started here. Got a key card. Multi tool. Man, I am on fire. It looked like some type of hell night. See if we can heal up. All right, here we go. Good. Hit the spot. What the hell? Need to reload. Okay, Jovisek. Hello, system. What is this? Cancel lockdown. Oh, I can do that? That should take care of the lockdown. Plus 1,000 experience. Well, this is... This is exciting, guys. I mean, it's different. I mean, like... It's cool. Got kick-ass music. Did I say kick-ass? Let's do the Hail Runner. Oh, I can pick another two? So I'm going to pick each one of these. Oh, what is this? Hold on. Tough as nails. Let's see. Can we... Let's see. Access recon. I don't know what this does. Let's access some messages. Oh, man. It says from Caleb Brown. I'm not going to read all of these, but it says... Geez, mate, this laboratory down here in Callisto Mines Level 1 is rad. All of the gear is functional, and the jailers are never around. First batch of booze should be ready in about two days. Let your boys know so we can start the distribution. So they're down there getting drunk, man. It's like prison. Like somebody got a complaint. It says, boss, I understand that Jackson had a rough time in the army, and we need to cut him a little slack. I can imagine that him stealing my lunch and feeding it to the cockroaches might be cute in someone's eyes, but now he bought a fucking bald doll, a bald dog, to come live in our workshop in Callisto Level 6. God knows where he took it from, and that bastard house all day long reeks of dead fish and in my shoes. <laughs> Boss, I swear, either you tell him or I'm going to strangle one of them and feed it to the other. Oh, man. If this game is, like, full of this, I mean, I could, I, this could provide some, like, interesting conversations if you played it with someone else. Like, I mean, not, like, multiplayer, but if someone played it and you guys want to talk about it. Okay, what is this? All right, we got a recon module. Valhalla Terminal Level 1. Oh, so we can... Reveal the map for one multi-tool? Well, how many multi-tools do I have? I don't see. Maybe I can go on my options, but... I don't need to reveal the map. I'm going to save it just in case. For all entities on the current level. No. I'm good. We're good, right? So let's return. Okay, I have five adrenaline. Oh, there we go. I was looking for the compare and I couldn't find it. So, if I get this helmet that's on the floor, it's actually in better condition. So, let's go ahead and get that one. And let's go back up here and look at this armor. Uh, the one on the floor is in better condition. All right.
What is that right there? 64%. How can I wait? I know there's a way you can like wait. Oh lordy. Now, how do I use my uh, adrenaline? I, that's what I need to know. How do I use that? Uh, it's got to be... It's not that. Oh, here we go. So, I'll move it over. Need to reload. Okay, getting a l It seems the gun doesn't deteriorate. So I'm good with this one. I was going to switch out, but I think I'm good. And I found the elevator. All right, let's switch out. Let's pick let's go in here, throw out the 9mm and we'll pick up this this SMG, okay? So go in. Drop the pistol. Let's go on down, let's find this enemy right here. Blood for the blood god. A 9mm auto rifle. Hold on, I just picked up an SMG. You know what? I'm going to get rid... <sighs> I'm going to get rid of the combat knife, guys. I'm going to get rid of the combat knife because we can always use another gun. Because I got a lot of ammo. Yes, I think we can do this. Let's throw this out. Pick this up. Mm, see if we can reload it. Metal. Transfer to Callisto Mines level one. No, we don't want to go to level one. We need to go to the top. Level three. And for those wondering, FPS constant, but... There you go, 2560 by 1600, 140 FPS, man. It's probably going to stick right there. So I would guess and say that the V-Sync is on. Let's see if we can go to options. Uh, you know what? This is not the time to be going into options. We're playing a game. We're, we're doing this right. And to make it more immersive, I'm going to turn that off because we don't really need it on if we're just playing the game, right? Yeah, out, buddy. Ooh, what's that? Seriously, it popped out a drone? Need to reload. AV one. Pistol? What does that mean? I mean, like... Maybe it's stronger. Let me switch up. Yeah, definitely gonna hit hard. So what should I drop? I mean, I really... Oh, man, I really don't want to drop anything, but I'm getting ready to die. I gotta find some... <sighs> I need some help.
Oh, so that 9mm pistol has an auto loader on it. So if it runs out, I wonder if like when it when it runs out of ammo because when I when, now when I run out, I have to reload and it when I do that, it's actually a move. So if it has an auto loader, does it load without a move being counted? I mean, that would be so freaking cool right there. I mean, I would have to ditch the shotgun. I don't know, man. It has a 9 impact, though. I, I guess I'm good for now. Gosh, I really would like to have that. Yeehaw! <laughs> we got ourselves a med kit. Oh, guess what? I bet you those different colored doors, you need a key. A certain colored key, possibly? I'm guessing now, I don't know. But just based on, you know, the one level when we found that one colored key card. Uh-oh. Oh, we found the elevator. He's okay, that's going down. We can shut all the drones down, but I think we need the experience, right? I don't, we don't really have to shut them down. We can't do anything anyway, right? Because we don't have enough multi-tools. Unlock sec uh, securely locked vault on the current level. Oh, okay, we did that. I'm not going to reveal any map. And there's some more messages. Look at this. Please take care of this. <laughs> hey, Charles, there's been a new feature installed in our sector in Callisto Rift, Rift Level 1. It's supposed to be an emergency break in case of an inmate uprising. I'm pretty confident it's a nice addition until I remind myself of Noah. Can you make sure he doesn't get anywhere near the terminal until I figure out how to blacklist single staff members. Thanks in advance, Edward. <laughs> Potential rights. What are we on a prison? Medical. Uh, please remember your quarterly medical checkup is this week. Failure to report to your physician at your allocated data might result in heavy penalties or termination of your contract. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Gotta be careful of these barrels, right? Ah, uh, there's the elevator. Alright, Callisto Hub. And I'm assuming that's the top, right? So, I'm willing to bet that what we unlocked are those purple doors. Jeez. 
Now, how do I use fury? Okay. Smoke screen. Out of ammo. Reload. Done. We're next. Okay, so what happened there was the drone or that big robot was setting up a smoke screen and I couldn't see him. I can't see shit. What I should have done is shot these barrels right here. I don't know what I was thinking. Got a mod pack. Well, I guess that's it. We can't get in there. Let's go on up. go okay I'm reloaded I'm ready thirty percent chance. Encountered enemies are always visible on the mini-map. Okay, level one. Track seen enemies. Detect through walls up to two tiles. Angry M. Effer. <laughs> Damage bonus proportional to missing health percentage. Hell runner. You're one angry M. Effer. <laughs> if someone hurts you, you hurt them right back. Your damage output is increased proportionately to your missing health. Level one up to precipitous. Oh, let's do this. We're already here, man. We're getting ready to go on up. Should we go on up or keep going? Let's keep going. Okay, I think we're making our rounds. What's this big daddy? 9mm auto rifle. Looks like the same gun I already have. Except the one on the floor has more bullets in the magazine. 238, 150%. Let's swap out <laughs> just for the extra couple of bullets. There we go. can never have too many bullets. Transfer to Valhalla Terminal 1. Okay, we... Man, that was unexpected. I should have left. Fine. But I'm bleeding and I'm in pain. Toxic Reaver's Spleen. Okay, Minor Relic, the Spleen of a Toxic Reaver. 
Mephetic Curse. Each kill creates a toxic cloud immunity from poisoned status effects. But 33% healing received. Picking it up. Exomed. Medication station. Healing one charge. Extract two med kit, two charges. Extract stem pack, three charges. Increase health, three charges. Charge one multi pool, return. Okay, um, I'm gonna see if I can do um, the extract med kit, two charges. So let's look and see if we have anything. Okay, we have a small red, uh, small med kit. I don't see two. Maybe I read it wrong. Saw another person over there. Gotta be careful. Basically, just going through these rooms and seeing if I could find any console that can give us some extra stuff. Like this. I think we're good. Let's go to the next floor. There's an enemy over there. yippee ki -yay. I think it was all the way over here on the left. All right, let me see if I'm still recording. Yeah, I'm still recording. Whoa. They're trying to swarm me, but I'm trying to get them into view. Like, that's 50% chance I can hit this guy, but... <sighs> oh, man, I'm just messing up. Not dead yet. <sighs> we really need a health station bad. Whoa, man, they just like swarm me. I mean, I really wasn't expecting that, but wow. Main pool level five Marine killed on Callisto level five by a former grunt. He survived for 1,371 turns. The run time was 46 minutes, three seconds. World seat was 7,795. He scored 481 points. He took medium risks. I think I took major risks, man. 
my death log your action you're at 10 health your action you're at 10 health former grunt deals 14 damage to you health down to negative four you die so that was the death log what happened it says uh Callisto level two lockdown he killed 81 out of 96 enemies 25 former grunts, 8 former soldiers, 5 former sergeants, 7 former guards, 11 security drones, 11 fiends, 9 fire fiends, and 3 calsec sentries. My traits, I had a skill level 1, a hell runner level 1, toughest nails level 1, and angry M effort level 1. Trait order, SKI to HR to TAN to AMF. I don't know what that means. Maybe I could pick up a D&D book or something. And my equipment, I have a, I had a 9mm auto rifle, a SMG, or this is the equipment that I used. No, it's what I had. I had the rifle, I had the SMG, and I had a shotgun. I also had the basic armor uh, for the armor suit and an armor helmet. My relics, I had that toxic reaver spleen, which actually worked a little bit. And then in my inventory, I had hellified ammo. For the 9 millimeter and the 12 gauge. Nice. And I had a red key card. So what did you guys think, man? Jupiter Hell. Pretty damn good game. Roguelike type of game. Awesome. It's the old style type. I mean, even though it just looks like little characters running across the screen, it's it's pretty interesting and it's actually fun. You got kick-ass music, man. The music sounds good. Doesn't get old. And because you can't see the enemies like really really clear and add some type of mystery to how they might look i mean if you were to like get on up close on them it has like robots like drones and stuff so you know like well they're centuries and i don't i still i don't know what's really going on i know i crash landed because i got shot down but am i am i on a prison planet or prison facility or what but anyway pretty good game i like it jupiter to hell man it's getting ready to come out when does it release ah let's see okay it's still in early access and let me see on this hold on bear with me August 5th, 21 is when this game is going to come out. Yeah, August 5th, Jupiter Hell will be released. And it'll be on Steam and GOG, I believe, and all them other ones. But yeah, pretty cool game. And if you're still here and you're still watching it, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, man. And until the next one. Mean Poo, out.